Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Waken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Born to a German knight in 1386, John was a young man ready to make something of his life in Perugia and throughout Italy. But God wasn't calling him to just make a difference in Italy, but in the Christian hearts of his church. He went on to study law at the University of Perugia and then shortly began his career as a lawyer of Naples. John then went on to serve as a governor under King Landislas and found himself in a position of power during a period of war. Hoping to settle the dispute between Perugia and the House of Malatesta in 1416, John offered an opportunity for peace. When his bargain was declined, he soon found himself instead a prisoner of war. It was during this time that John knew he was called to a new vocation and vowed to completely change the direction of his life. He had been married just before entering the war, but since the marriage wasn't consummated yet, he was able to easily annul the marriage with the permission of his bride. He quickly joined the Franciscans within the year. His trials were far from over. He went from the frying pan and into the fire when he entered religious life. At this moment in Franciscan history, countless overinterpretations of the rule of St. Francis left holy men pitted against heresies. Thanks to John's background in law and reason, he was able to help bring about a renewal to the Franciscan order. As a deacon, John was known for his charismatic preaching. In a time of confusion and uncertainty, he offered reassurance and clarity. Through his preaching, many wavering Christians were revitalized and filled with a new zeal of faith. Once he became a priest, Father John began traveling all over Europe, sharing the good news of the gospel beyond Italy. Father John was recognized as such a holy man that it was said that by simply him making the sign of the cross over the sick, they were miraculously healed. He continued to write throughout his life, mostly defending the faith against whatever heresies were constantly arising. The day finally came when the Turks captured Constantinople in 1453. Father John was given the task of preaching a crusade and defending Europe from the Turks and Muslims. When his efforts in Austria didn't prove to be as successful as he'd hoped, he decided to join the front line and marched an army from Belgrade of 70,000 Christian soldiers. Winning the battle of 1456, Father John lost the battle for his life when he was taken by illness a few short months later. In the end, he helped deliver Europe from the hands of the Turks and was canonized a saint in 1690. We always look at our lives and desire to make a difference, and that's good. The best part? We dream big and God dreams bigger. Instead of just touching the lives of the Italian people, St. John helped save Christ's church. He first fought for man and later for God. Let us be open to where God is calling us and may we too strive to make a difference in a fallen world who desire truth and true freedom. St. John of Capistrano, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.